Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Certification Exam. In this lesson, we're going to go through a demonstration on how to configure Microsoft 365 Group's expiration policy. Typically, people in organizations work on different projects and collaborate with different departments. It is common that users are added to many Microsoft 365 groups. Sometimes the projects are finished, but the Microsoft 365 groups still exist. Regarding this, the administrators and users need a way to clean up the unused groups. The most optimal solution for this is to set an expiration policy, which helps to remove inactive groups from the system. The expiration is turned off by default. The administrators have to enable the feature in the tenant and specify the expiration period for the group. When approaching group expiration, an email notification will be sent to the group owners if renewal is needed for additional period. If the group is not renewed, the group will be deleted automatically. If the administrator changes the expiration policy, the Office 365 expiration period will be recalculated for the groups. It is very important to know that when a group expires, all the group's associated content will be deleted, including Outlook, Planner, and SharePoint. However, there is an option to recover content up to 30 days from the expiration period. So let's go and see how to configure Microsoft 365 Group Expiration Policy. To configure Microsoft 365 Group Expiration Policy, you will have to log in to Azure AD Admin Center as a global administrator. So I'm going to go under my Azure Active Directory, click on Groups. On the left hand side, under Settings for Groups, you can find there is something called expiration. So click on expiration. And by default, this is turned off. So this is where you can select the lifetime in days. So I'm going to put 180 days. So you have by default 180 and 365 days, or you can have a custom date as well. So I'm going to select 180. Then there is email contact for groups with no owners. So this is where you can specify an email address where the renewal and expiration notification should be sent when a group has no owner. If the group does not have an owner, the expiration email will go to the specified administrator. So I'm going to provide my tenant administrator email address here. And finally, Enable expiration for these Microsoft 365 groups. You have options like all selected and none. So select the Microsoft 365 groups which you would like to configure this expiration policy for. So let's suppose you would like to enable this option to this group. You can select that and select. So the policy will be set for this particular group we selected. To finish the settings, you can click on save and that finishes the setting. Let's understand who can configure and use the Microsoft 365 Groups expiration policy. A group expiration is a feature that is included in an Azure AD premium subscription. This license is required for the administrator who needs to configure the settings and the members of the affected groups. They will need to have Azure AD premium licenses assigned to them. There are typically two types of roles within an organization, which has different privileges when it comes to expiration policies. Office 365 Global Admin and User Administrator. Now that we have learned about how to create an expiration policy, in the next demo, we are going to learn about how to configure Microsoft 365 Group's naming policy. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.